Hello and welcome to Front Sight Firearms Training Institute located just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Brad Ackman and I am your Director of Training. Welcome to the next episode of Front Sight's Reality Check. In the Reality Check series, we take a look at real-world lethal encounters and we diagnose them for you so you can tell what was done right and what was done wrong. And more importantly, we give you some key insight to how your training at Front Sight directly corresponds to those type of encounters. The video you are about to see contains violent images and is intended for a mature audience only. Viewer discretion is advised. How many times have you seen a video of a bad guy picking on an innocent, helpless victim and you think to yourself, I wish just once that the bad guy would make the mistake of selecting a capable armed warrior who isn't going to take any bull****. Well, your wish just came true with this video. Welcome to episode number 26 of Front Sight's Reality Check. Let's go to Venezuela in November of 2015. So here's the scene. This shooting takes place in a bank where dozens of patrons are waiting to make a deposit. Since everyone is carrying cash, it's really no surprise that the bad guy chose this particular location. Speaking of bad guys, this is him right here wearing the blue t-shirt and he's armed with a handgun. This guy right here in the black and red t-shirt is the good guy. He's an off-duty cop and he is carrying a concealed handgun. The bad guy walks right up to our hero, reaches out and gently gets a hold of his necklace. Now, a little more condition yellow would have been in order on the part of our hero. In other words, the first time you see the bad guy should not be when he reaches out and gets a hold of your necklace. At this point, the bad guy points his handgun at the cop and obviously makes a demand for the cash. Here is where things get interesting. At this point, the good guy has a few choices. He can refuse to hand over the money and risk getting shot. He can comply and hand over the cash while remaining perilously close to the bad guy. Or he can do something outside the box. Now, as I mentioned in our previous episode, Clever thinking comes only through proper training. You will not have a flood of bright ideas when you're looking down the muzzle of the bad guy's gun. Our good guy had clearly received significant training and did something unexpected. He bent down and laid the